guys, it's Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are not in our usual setup. We are in my living room. Welcome. If you've seen my unboxing from Everyday Crafts, you'll know that they sent me a few cross stitching kits. Your girl is gonna learn how to cross stitch. I've been watching a lot of videos, I've watched three videos actually, <laughs> but one video was like really good. I'll definitely link all the videos that I watched in the description, um, but the one that really helped was about like 40 minutes long. But the woman who was doing the video, she was like, she went really into detail about these kits. I feel like after watching that video, I definitely have a better understanding of how I'm gonna do this. I definitely learned that a few things that I thought I knew in that unboxing video was not actually facts. <laughs> um, like the printed cloth and the unprinted cloth, I actually ended up figuring out what that means. Um, in our case, we have a printed cloth. And one thing that I learned, like that just blew my mind. When you're done stitching everything, you and you like you have to wash this and then it removes all of like this ink and so you're literally only left with the thread i also learned that with these threads you would take a single thread and then you split it up it's made up of even smaller strands so you split those up and then you take two of those strands, do whatever you need to do on the needle, and that's how you then start stitching. I thought you would probably only use one whole thing and then start stitching, but no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Don't get it wrong. So yeah, I feel like I've done my homework. I think I have a good grasp of what I'm going to be doing. I think I'm going to start with this pink area right here which is actually number 10 so it's that one right there and it's this number right there 10. so in reality i'll be working on the yellow part but on here it's pink anyway so i'm going to take out a little strand so they all come knotted like this i'm just gonna end up taking the whole thing out this thing also brings a little diagram one thing that i did learn is that like this diagram if you see right there there's like a blue line so that's that's called a a back stitch right <laughs> it's better to do that at the end um as like sort of like an outline thing this kit brings two little needles so i have my thread and then i'm gonna get the two little pieces Tangling up like that. <laughs> ah, I got it. I saw another video where they kind of suggested to just work with one um, because two might be a little bit too long to manage. Where'd I put the needles? There's only one in the bag. Where's the other one? I found it person from that other video said to take your thread fold it kind of like in half and then put the loop through the needle wow this is a small opening through it a few times and figured out that you know this isn't the only option you can also use the other end so maybe we'll have better luck with the ends also I had to turn my lamp on because it was getting dark I I got it <laughs> yes it's threaded and then what do they say um i don't remember let me go watch a video okay 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 so before i forget so we have the loop 
through the eye and then we have the rest of the thing. So you feed the needle through the loop and then you pull this. Ay, and that pretty much ensures that your thread won't go anywhere. Yes, that took forever. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with this little area. Listen guys, this is not meant to be a tutorial at all. This is just me showing how I figured this, this out. I'm gonna poke a hole, I'm gonna make it big so that I can see it from the other side. And then you go in from the back, pull it through, not all the way through, you leave like a little tail. Can you see that? And then you go from bottom right to top left. Okay, and then I think you end up finishing that little stitch. And then you go from up there and go here. Okay. Okay. Alrighty guys, so basically there's my little my little cross stitch. Cute. This is what the back is looking like. Basically, I used um, the same thread to trap the tail so that hopefully that um, prevents it from moving around. It's pretty, pretty tight in there. I'm pulling it and it's not moving, so that's good. I'm working on this little square, the square that's on top of the one that I just did. So you start from the back to the front on that bottom right corner, bottom left corner, you pull through, ah. pull all the way through, okay, and then in the video she said like this is supposed to do it like really quickly, so you go here to the top right and then with the same needle you go to like the side. right there and then you pull through oh my goodness my hands are a little oily like maybe because I've been sweating I've been a little nervous and then you have a half stitch right there so that's half of like what a full one would be and then you do that again you go up to the other corner take it out from the other side I'm gonna keep doing that for the rest of that little row So we did that row full of half stitches and then you go back and you complete all the stitches. So you go through here and then you pop out through the other side and then you pull through. Okay guys, so I think I finished that first row. That's how it looks like. Um, I'm probably going to work on this, uh, you know, off camera. Uh, I will come back with an update. Guys, I'm back and look, look at how much I completed. So this took me an hour. <laughs> All together it looks it looks pretty good. I will say, I feel like this is more tedious <laughs> than diamond painting, um, especially with like the needle and just that whole situation. It's, oh my gosh, it's so tedious. <laughs> so I've actually uh, run out of thread pretty much. Like this is all that was left. Oh, and this is what the back looks like by the way. That's what the back looks like. Um, and yeah, and so based off the videos that I saw pretty much when you're done with a color or when you run out, you wanna put it through under the these little pieces of thread. Oh, kind of like that, I think four is enough. And then you pretty much pull it through. Ah. Got it. And with your scissors, you just cut close to the thing. And there you 
there you go. Take off the thread and then pretty much you reload it again, kind of like how I did it in the beginning, um, <laughs> which was a struggle. And then you start again and you do that with all the colors until you fill this whole thing up. I will keep working on this uh, for the next couple days, couple weeks. If I have an update, I will be back. See you guys soon. Guys, okay, can I just say, I ended up separating the strand from the rest of the thread. I put it through the little needle in like less than four minutes, I think. Hey, this is my second time doing it and I finally, I think I got the hang of it, so. <laughs> um, hi guys. <laughs> I won't even lie to you. It's been about four months. <laughs> like, I think I worked on it the next day. Um, and then after that, I just, I haven't picked it up. But on that one day, I did get a lot done. I'll show you guys. So this is how much I have done now. It's a pretty good area. I finished uh, this whole pink part or yellow part. <laughs> and then I started working on this part. And overall, I think it looks pretty good. I think the stitching definitely got better um, as I kept working on it. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm still nowhere near done. <laughs> um, and honestly, <laughs> you know, between dime painting and cross stitching, I definitely prefer dime painting, but I am determined to one day finish this um, because I definitely want to see how it'll look in the end. If you guys are interested in cross stitching, definitely do it. You know, you might definitely be more into it uh, than I am. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you found this entertaining. Um, it was really fun learning how to do this new craft. Uh, guys, if you have any tips at all or, you know, any videos that you recommend, please do leave them in the comments and I'll definitely uh, look at those uh, when I try this again. If you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're not already, subscribe. I do have TikTok and Instagram in case you're interested in more content. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Till next time, peace. Bye.